How to automate your workflows in Zoho. So hello there guys. First off, you just need to simply open your Zoho CRM account here in your browser. Once you've opened it, go to the upper right hand corner and click on the setup icon right here. So in order for you to make automations here in your Zoho, the next thing that you're going to do is that basically you just need to look for the automation um, section and in here you would be clicking on workflow rules. So when you click on workflow rules, you can actually create a new rule or you could also edit and modify that rule that you have right there. So let's start creating a rule. And basically, you just need to input what kind of rule you want to have. Like for example, your task. And then after, you just need to add a rule name. So say for example, week 1. And then after, you just need to add a description. Okay. Once done, click on the blue button to continue. And in here, you just need to add like um, descriptions. So first, you just need to put when this event would happen all right and then afterwards customize it according to your liking okay now let's just edit some parts right here and then choose the time Click on next. Afterwards, when you click on next, you would be inputting a condition. So which task would you like to apply to the rule? So first, you can actually have the created by. And then after that, you just need to put a date and time to the task. Click on next. And then here you have two options. You can create an instant action and a scheduled action. Alright, so here click on like the execute for 5 hours. And then click on next. And then you just need to have the action right here or choose an action. Say for example, you want to have an email notification. So you need to input the name. Uh, the person or the group that you would be sending it to and you could also create a template let's cancel this one so let me show you another one so if you want to assign owner so you can actually do that by clicking on the user section and there you can add a user so here you can also assign only to online users and also send email notifications to the new owner. You could also add new scheduled action if you would want to. After that, and if you're good, you can click on the save button. You could also add a new condition and you just need to follow the process basically. That's about it for today's video guys. I hope that you find this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.